everybody welcome back to my channel this is Danny and I'm sorry it's been so long since I did my last video but you know with everything going on in the world it's been kind of crazy haven't been out a whole lot but I finally went out and just to see what Dollar Tree had for essentials I was mainly looking for hand sanitizer they did not have any but while I was there I did pick up a few things so I have a somewhat small Dollar Tree haul for you today. So let's get started with the food items. The first thing I got were the Ellie's Plain Bagels. There are four in here. And these are good until April 25th. Then I picked up some pastas. I got some Kraft macaroni and cheese, the original. Then I got some Gorilla. This is one pound of penne pasta. This is my daughter's favorite. Whenever she says, I want my favorite noodles, this is what she's talking about. <laughs> and then I found these. These are new. It's Kraft Pasta Sides Creamy Alfredo Penne. Um, it has cheesy garlic and herb seasoning and creamy cheese sauce. And this is a 9.25 ounce box. And I did get a couple of these um, because um, I thought they looked good. Never seen these there before, so that's kind of neat. Then a couple more food items. I just got some TGI Friday's potato skins, snacks, cheddar, and bacon. And this is a four ounce bag. Then I was kind of disappointed they didn't have the popcorn that I liked, the Boom Chicka Pop in the purple bag. But I thought I would try the white cheddar popcorn this time. And this is a 1.5 ounce bag of Angie's Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. So that's all I got for food. Then a couple things I got for the house that we needed. I got some sponges. And let me tell you something about these Brillo Basics sponges. These work really well. I bought... So you get two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes you'll get a bonus pack with three in there, and that's a really good deal. But I bought some of the Dawn brand sponges one day, and they were like three sponges for three bucks, and they are terrible. So these, uh, what's it called, Estracel, very good. So it's a good deal to buy those at Dollar Tree. Then my kids needed some toothpaste so this is the Colgate kids cavity protection bubble fruit flavor because they don't like mint flavored toothpaste so I got this for them and this is 2.7 ounce bottle then some fun items I picked up were these little photo frames I think these are so cute I've never seen them at the Dollar Tree before and it's a little like snow globe type thing. This one is a rectangle with hearts and you can take the picture of the puppy dog out of there on the back. You take, pull this up and the plastic comes off and you take the picture out and then you put in a picture that you want and the hearts are still there. The hearts will be there, I think. Let's see. So you pull this plastic part off. Maybe the hearts won't still be there. No, the hearts are on the puppy dog. So. You don't even have the hearts on there. And then you put your own picture in there. Put the back back on. And you then your picture will be in there. And it'll be like a little snow globe. So that's neat. This one has like little snowflakes in it. So this one's the rectangular one. This one is a star. And again, oops, almost dropped it. Again, you can take that picture out of the back. And you just... And you can put in whatever picture you want. Or you don't even have to put a picture back in there. But then you'd have to take this sticker off. Because you'd be able to see the other side of the sticker. But this one has star glitter in it. And then the last one is probably my favorite. This one is a heart. And I figured I'd put in a picture of my mom and me or something. Or me. Or me and the girls um, in here. And give it to my mom for Mother's Day. And this one has just like confetti in it so again take out the picture and put in a, any picture you want so I thought those were really neat then in the toy section 
I found these TY Mini Boos Collectibles hand painted. Now, I didn't even realize this until I left the store, but they had Series 2 and Series 3. They had more Series 3 ones than they did Series 2. So I got four of them, but this is the only Series 2 one I got. And I think I'll open that here in a second so you can see. It tells you all the ones you can get. Collect them all. So those are the ones that you can get in these. And then I did pick up three of the Series 3. So I picked three up of those and you can get, these are all, yeah, they're all the same, the series three. And then you can get a uh, mystery one of these, obviously. So uh, Chaser is the mystery one, I guess. So let me open a couple of these. Two of them I'll give to my girls, but I wanted to open a couple on camera to see what they look like. If I can, because the boxes are very well taped shut. <laughs> So let's see here. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> let's see. I don't really care if I rip the box. I'm not gonna put it back in there. So comes in here in a little bag. And the little checklist of who you can get. Oh you do get a there's a mystery one. In here too. So these are all the ones you can get. So let's see the one we got. Well, at least the bag's easier to open than the box. Oh, we got the giraffe. These are super adorable. These are really cute. It even has the little tag. I mean, it's plastic, but and they're hand painted. Those are really cute. Let's see what the name of this one is. The giraffe is called Gilbert. How cute. That is so adorable. So anyways, that's a Series 2 one. Let me clear out my garbage. And then let's open one of these Series 3s. See which one we get. Open the box. Alright. So again, comes in a little bag. And the little checklist. This one's a little different. Oh, this one shows you the Series 2 and Series 3 ones you can get. And Series 1. So this shows you all the series. And I didn't see any Series 1s of these there. I just saw 2 and 3. So this one has a checklist for all of them. So let's see what we got here. Oh, adorable. Oh my gosh, this one's fuzzy. This is a pink monkey. Okay, that's my favorite. By far my favorite. It has a little glittery ear and the TY tag. And it's, oh my gosh, it's soft. This is cute. Let's see what the little monkey's name is. Cherry. These are really cute. I wish I would have gotten more because these are so adorable. I love these. So, sorry if you hear my dog growling in the background. Some tractor just drove by and he's got to protect us from everything outside. All right, and then in the office supplies section, I found these really neat Jot tape dispensers. This one is shaped like a donut. I think actually they were all donuts, but they were just different colors. Like there was a um, the blue one, a purple one, um, Maybe a green one. I know there wasn't a pink one because I would have gotten the pink one if there was a pink one. <laughs> so anyways, let me just open this and see exactly what it looks like. I'm pretty sure there's already tape in there, but let's check it out, shall we? It, oh yeah, it does say tape included. Includes tape. Now you just got to figure out how to use it, Danny, because you're a genius. Okay, I see. You got to take it to take it apart to get the tape started or what I see the tape in there I don't know. you got to be smarter than the tape okay there we go there's the tape in there and then you just get it started and it comes out of here and there's the little sharp edge so you can tear the tape but yeah I thought that was cute 
probably give it to one of the girls. <laughs> probably Lana, because she doesn't have my oldest. She doesn't have a tape dispenser. I know my youngest does. So, I thought that was adorable. So, I just got that. Then I found in the sock section, you guys know, all know how I love Dollar Tree's socks, and I saw some new ones. These are the women's low cut socks, fits shoe sizes five to nine, and they had a bunch of different ones, but this is the cotton candy, and then the other pair is just polka dots. So I thought that was adorable. And then these were my favorite. These have a little, I think it's a little pug on there on the heel. So this is the heel of the sock. And then it's got little paw prints. And the other side of the sock is just stripes. So I thought those were double. They did have different puppy dogs too, but I thought the pug was the cutest. Then in the beauty section, I just found a couple of new masks that I haven't seen before. These are by Freeman. And um not testing the animals. These are made in Korea. So these are, no, these are not a Greenbrier product. These are Freeman. And this one is Hydrating Aloe, two pack of sheet masks. So there's two in there. There's two in this one too. This is the uh, Purifying Grapefruit. So I got two packs of those so that the girls and I can do those while we're not allowed to go anywhere. Um... Then I saw these. These were hanging on one of the plastic strips by the socks section. Um, and this is another reason I went in there. Now, um, you probably all know that you're supposed to wear masks when you go outside now. Um, and I know that a lot of places are short on masks. And I understand that because the healthcare workers need them. Um, and that's okay. So I found a couple of... DIY things on YouTube to make your own masks and um, with a bandana. So that's why I actually I went into Dollar Tree um, besides the hand sanitizer, which I didn't find, um, was to find some bandanas because I know they've had them in the past. But instead, I found these really, really cute scarves. Well, actually, no, it's called a multi-purpose bandana. And it has um, nine different ways it shows you that you can use it and this is the one that caught my eye because you can use it to cover your mouth like a mask and that would work perfectly for what I'm trying to do they had um I got four uh one for me one for my husband one for my mom and then an extra one um then uh but they had like eight different ones so they had a um a good selection so this one is for my husband this is kind of a camouflage one you see that then I got this just kind of unisex black and white one kind of oh it's kind of camouflage too pattern didn't realize that that's neat then I got this one I think it's just a pattern but it's um, like a navy blue that one that was really pretty too and then this is the one I got for myself of course because it has pink on it and that's my favorite color but this one's really cute too so that's why I got that there's the different ways that you can wear it it's called a multi-purpose bandana and they were hanging on a plastic strip over by the socks section and where the t-shirts are and things like that so that is all I have for today. I'm really excited about this haul. I think I found some neat things, and I think the score of the day was those bandanas, actually. Um, but thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to be back with another video. I'm sorry that it's been so long again. Things are crazy. I'm not sure when I'll get out. But um, just stay tuned, please. If you hit the subscribe button and you hit the bell button next to it, you'll always be notified when I put up a new video. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye.